out here trying to check out like the trail conditions. And they seem pretty good. Uh, the temperature has been way below freezing for quite a while now, for like three or four days. But yeah, trying to check this out because tomorrow I want to get some decent trail miles in with some vertical gain. So that's why we're out here right now, just doing a little pass through the celery bog which is absolutely beautiful let's take this little jaunt out here and show you there's a bunch of birds out here oh my gosh look at this that nice. you do not want to step too far out there though i think i'm going to give it a shot tomorrow head out to uh, that secret place <laughs> and get some get some climbing in tomorrow. It's not supposed to warm up too much today, so I'm thinking that the uh, conditions should be pretty much the same as they are right now. But man, I've got some like, weird weird pains going on in my legs. <clears throat> it's like different spots. Like comes and goes. I don't know what it is. I need to make sure I get some good foam rolling in tonight. Let's go. That's awesome. The deer, I knew that there's always been deer that are kind of in this little tiny patch of woods here. Uh, and I guess they're really used to people. <laughs> they're just totally cool. Uh, I gotta get home though. But once again, great to get some trail miles. Actually, it's probably like one mile, but still great. some of your questions and uh, give you some answers. Uh, I think this will be a fun one. I have no idea what I'm about to read. <laughs> um, but first, just kind of like go over the run. It was the past couple days with all the ice and everything on the ground, I haven't wanted to do like any sort of like 
real like speed work or anything like that. Maybe once it starts melting a little bit or packs down a little bit more, uh, we'll just see, like maybe I'll be able to do some of that. Last two days, I was able to hit up some trails, which is awesome, even just for a little bit of time. Today was actually really cool and I haven't, edited this video yet, so I don't know exactly what it'll look like, but uh, I saw two deer like out in the woods. That was awesome. This trail system that I was on, it's just like kind of a park in the middle of town. There's, and there's, it's just all like houses and uh, businesses around it and everything. So I think that these deer actually live in this park, which is really cool. Anyway, let's get in here, read some comments. Oh, there's already 24 comments on this video. Uh, and I literally like just posted it. Okay, first question. And again, like I'm not, I haven't read these at all. I'm just literally doing like little screenshots of them and answering them. So the first question is from Jeff McPherson. What type of cross training do you do? So to answer that question, I don't do as much as I should. Um, and sorry, I keep looking at this screen down here, but is this like really annoying? Like this blue and red? I didn't even, I didn't even realize that. I just turned this light on back here. I'm just gonna go with it. Anyway, cross training. I do some like stability exercises once a week um, and really that's it. I don't do any weights. I don't do any sort of uh, like CrossFit or any other sports. It's pretty much just running and some like stability, like body weight exercises once a week. A lot of people have been asking for a video on that. So I'll probably put one together soon. So the next question is from Rocky Runs. He said, uh, hey Ryan, thanks for doing the daily vlogs. Great videos. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh, he says, my question is, would you recommend an easy to learn video editing software apart from DaVinci Resolve? Uh, DaVinci Resolve is great because it's free. Uh, and it's actually also one of the easier ones to learn. I would say probably the easiest is iMovie that comes with Mac computers. Uh, but, and then Final Cut is uh, like, it just builds off that. So those are probably like the easiest to learn, I would say. DaVinci Resolve is just, it's really great and it's also really easy. Uh, the cut page is like, you can start there. So I don't know if there's really anything easier than that aside from iMovie. So here's a good question. Uh, Clint as a trail runner says, what do you do with the camera stick when you're filming? Uh, can you put it in your pocket or do you carry it out? This is like, I have a bunch of these just like selfie sticks. The best thing that I have found to do with them, if you're wearing a pack, it's really easy to just like throw it in the back, something like that. But I always wear uh, like a running waist belt uh, and I'll put a link in the description to one that I really like a lot called the flip belt. And I can just like slide it in that belt and it just kind of stays there either in the back or the front. You know, every once in a while I do have to carry it though. Like if the laundry situation wasn't worked out ahead of time, <laughs> yeah, I will have to like just carry it, but uh, usually not on really long runs. Usually I'll have somewhere to put it. Okay, so here's a question from Aaron Townsend and you'll see he's got a little mountain logo next to his name and that's because he's a member of this channel. Uh, so if you want to just support what I do here, uh, that's the best way to do it. So thank you, Aaron, for being a member. Uh, he says, any thoughts on your year of running? Accomplishments, setbacks, goals not met, what do you want to improve on? Yeah, so at the beginning of the year, I had huge goals as far as like races and everything. Obviously that didn't happen. Uh, Cruel Jewel got canceled right away, which was sad. And so from then it was kind of like all the goals were like out the window, except for the ones that I could control. So I still had the goal of running 2000 miles. Uh, for the year and I did that and I'm actually almost at 2300, which is really cool. Uh, didn't really have any like setbacks or anything like that. Um, and I was able to run a hundred miler, which was pretty incredible that it actually happened. Um, so yeah, I would say as far as running this year, it's been really great. I was also able to uh, run every day. I had a run streak that was like almost 300 days long. Honestly, like this year for running has been great. So I have really nothing to complain about. All right, next question is from Tristan M. Ray Yui. He says, hey Ryan, first of all, thank you for the uh, really cool videos. You're welcome. I've been really enjoying watching them every day. My question is, do you have any advice to give less experienced runners, namely about the gap from semi-marathon to full marathon? Anyways, thanks, stay safe, sending positive vibes from France. France, that's awesome. You know, the, the jump from like a marathon, like a half marathon up to a full marathon, it's gonna be just a lot more time on your feet. Long runs are gonna be longer. A lot of your short runs and mid runs are gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, your pace is probably gonna be a little bit slower when you jump from the half marathon to the full marathon. But the biggest thing is gonna be those long runs. Uh, instead of a long run of maybe like nine, 10 or 11 miles, it's gonna be, once you get closer to your race, your longer runs are gonna be 17, 18 miles, 
20, maybe 21, something like that. So that would be the biggest thing. You're also gonna have to worry about nutrition a lot more. So uh, you have to practice with that. It's gonna take more time to train properly for a full marathon than a half marathon. And then once that, you're just on a roll after that. So that would be my advice. All right, that's it. This was great. This was really fun. And there's a bunch of questions I didn't get to, but I will respond to them in the comments. Uh, so check back for that. But yeah, it was great. Thanks for stopping by. Today was a really cold run. Tomorrow, hopefully I'll be running some trails uh, for real, uh, more than just like a little loop like I did yesterday and today. So yeah, stop on back by for that. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.